Hi guys, thanks for watching this uh, Diagnostic World video. Uh, you join us in the Porsche Boxster where we have the, uh, don't worry about the middle light, but we have the traction control warning light and the ABS warning light. Uh, we're going to diagnose that with the Foxwell NT644 kit. Uh, this kit is available at Diagnostic World. The website is www.diagnostic-world.com. This is the tool you need to diagnose the 986 airbags, uh, sorry, the ABS system. Um, the other kits won't communicate with the 986, so this is the tool you need. Um, so we're going to click into Porsche. And it's going to hopefully select a few different, uh, allow us to select different vehicles. So we're going to select um, Boxster 986. Diagnosis, control units. I'm going to go to ABS. All right, so it's going to ask us to read fault codes. So we've got a 4201 speed sensor front right, and 4200 is the same speed sensor front right. So um, there's a problem with the front right ABS sensor. So it's the front right as you sit in the vehicle. Uh, so in this case, it's the driver's side front. Uh, now, for anyone who's interested, this is the ABS sensor. We're going to change it over. This is the part number 0265 uh, 006344. Or is it? No. Part number is that one there 996606406600. That's the part number. But this is the ABS sensor in any case. So this this end here goes into the hub this end goes into the electrical connection so uh, let's take the wheel off and uh, it should be pretty straightforward it's just like an allen key um, or hex key that removes the uh, the abs sensor so we'll go and do that now and hopefully it shouldn't take too long then once we've done that we'll be able to come back into the vehicle erase the codes and it should get rid of all of these warning lights so let's go and do that now Okay, so the wheel is off now, and the ABS sensor is this one here, so leading up into this here, and then I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it goes into the hub right there. So what we need to do is lift this cover up. There we go. And then this one here comes out. Ow. So that's the sensor. Well, that's the electrical part, should I say? And then we need to get. Let me see if I can see. I'll try and shine the light on that so you can see it's an Allen key. And what I'll do is okay, I've got a number five Allen key here, so you need to pop that in and kind of remove it. But it might take some moving because consider this has probably been in here since new so this has probably been in here for about 18 years so it might be easier if I try to get that off without the camera in one hand and I'll come back to you once I've got it off so it was very difficult and what I've had to do is get a, a set of crimmers here put the Allen key in and then twist it like that it's the only way I've been able to the sensor is out however this is something that you need to be careful of see what's happened here the whole thing is seized snapped and the rest of it is stuck in there this has happened before I've seen this happen before uh, it's not the end of the world we just need to try and get in there and scoop all of that out so I've been scooping now for about 20 minutes and you can see the end of the ABS sensor has finally come out that's the metal part of it in any case the rest of it, the plastic surrounds are still stuck in there, so I need to scoop the plastic out. Then we should be good to put the new ABS sensor in. Okay, so you can see now that the sensor is completely scooped out. 
if I shine the light right down there you'll be able to see the reluctor ring right through the hole there and this is all of the crap that I've managed to scoop out of it bits of plastic and filings and this is just half of it so we're gonna get the new ABS sensor in now okay so the new sensor is in place now uh, it's all fully in there electrical connecting connected back up so now we need to get back into the vehicle and hopefully uh, we can reset the fault codes and get rid of the warning lights okay, so we'll put the wheel back on now ignition is on the tool is plugged in now let's see how we get on first of all I will start the engine looks good because all I have is the uh, the warning light which comes on straight away and doesn't turn off until you actually start driving away and then we've got uh, on the two so we haven't actually needed to erase any trouble codes yet but what I will do is I will go in and just do that in any case because it is the right thing to do so we've got uh, 986 diagnosis control units uh, ABS lights have come on there because I am interrogating the system I'll go into read codes they should still be there they are and then we can go in and erase codes erasing erase done okay and then we'll just come back out of this well the traction light has stayed on I suspect turn that off and then back on again hmm traction light has stayed on I may need to actually drive the vehicle in order to get rid of the light uh, so I'm gonna start the, I'm gonna reverse off my driveway here and then we'll uh, we'll take it out for a short drive all right in fact I didn't need to drive it off because literally it's a few seconds after I stopped the video before the traction light just went off on its own um, so it's mission accomplished it's all thanks to the Foxwell NT510 kit for Porsche uh, obviously we've had to put a new ABS sensor in there as well which was a bit of a chuff on um, however we did get the job done and uh, very happy with the results Thanks for watching, uh, I'll put the link to where this kit is available in the description and the comments box below. Um, the ABS sensor cost about 60 or £50 and I picked that up from eBay. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.